I've been wanting to make a dream catcher for a while now, and a cousin of mine brought the idea up to me again recently, so I just decided to go for it. I tried to make this as simple as I possibly could. I hope you all enjoy. You'll need an embroidery hoop, lace fabric, an assortment of different beads, embroidery floss, some thicker cord, some lace trim ribbon, feathers, yarn, and fabric glue and a sponge brush. Since my hoop was yellow, I spray painted it white, but if you get a wooden one, you can skip this step. While the hoop is drying, you can pick out the feathers that you want to use and start stringing them together. Make a knot, but don't pull it tight until you have it around the tips of the feather. Don't forget to double knot the knot as well. Now you can start to add beads. To make the beads look like they're suspended, knot about three times if you're using the embroidery floss, and then put the bead on top of the knot. If you're using the thicker cord, depending on which bead you use, you can either do one or two knots. You can do this in any kind of random order. I even alternated between using the floss and the cord. You can also make your strings different lengths. For this strand, I used a piece of necklace that I wasn't wearing anymore and just tied it onto the string to hang. Now that the hoop is dry, you can use the yarn to cover the entire hoop. Start by knotting one end of the yarn at the very beginning and then start to loop around the hoop, keeping the yarn tight each time you go around. This part did take a while, so you can probably sit in front of the TV while doing this step. When you've covered the entire hoop, you can now tie on your feathers. Before you tie it, make sure it's at a length that you like. Just be sure to double knot each string. After all the strings are tied on, you can use the lace ribbon as well to add more to the Dreamcatcher. step you need to do is place the lace onto the hoop and pick out the piece of fabric that you want on your hoop. Then go ahead and cut it out. Using your glue, saturate the front side of the loop and lay the lace onto it. Press it down and make sure that the lace is pulled tight before it starts to dry. Then go over the edges with the brush and leftover glue to make sure that the lace is saturated where it touches the hoop. Let that dry according to your glue's instructions. After it's dry, cut off any excess lace that's hanging over. You can also use the back side of the hoop to hang it, you don't need any other string. And you're done! Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know. And check back soon for some more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon. Bye!